little flat. Okay, well, Greg, her stupid Rex, you need some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and the Twitter channel. It's, it's, it's juicy gum. It's so juicy. Thank you for so much. Patreon and follow our social Twitter account. <laughs> you know my. <gasps> Tootie! Do you know my dad hmm. gets really like infuriated when he can't hear you say about the Twitter account and Patreon? You don't already follow me, Mr. Siegel? Yeah, he hates when you do that. It like. Follow me, Mr. Siegel. Don't tell me that. I'll keep doing it. Exactly. Uh, but this is a. Uh, Sweaty belly! Read this. I don't know. Um, Hindi language party song. Mm hmm. Oh, more? Yeah. Uh, Sajanaji Vadi Vadi. Mm -hmm. Note, mm -hmm. dance as free and wild as K.K. Mignon, who played Kuromir in Header. Oh. Ah, this song is a pure, unadulterated party song. Okay. 90s party song? No, it came or out in 2007. 2007, okay, so it doesn't count. Good, well, come on. Because when you say party song, I'm thinking of things like Tanuk Tanuk and Tata Tata and any other song that starts with a T. Gan Gandhi Bot? It's not a T. No, but I just wanted to say Gandhi Bot because I know it means dirty talk. Here we go! I didn't, looking at it, but... Which guy was the guy from Header? Your guess is as good as mine. I was trying to figure it out. I had completely, once the song started, I had forgotten that someone in this was in the movie Header. <laughs> I, it, for me, I was watching, it was almost like someone had a camera at a wedding reception on a boat, and they just played the song, and everybody just started dancing. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, it was great. It wasn't like a, uh, you know, the bo big Bollywood numbers where right. everybody now knows the exact They know the dance. choreography, and they're blowing us away with the choreography. This was literally just 
You could have just have a good time. Maybe that's what they did. They just turned on. They they was like, I right, everybody dance to the song. Nothing. That's what it looked like. Yeah. Which uh, and I, it's like a get everybody on the dance floor. Grandma, all the kids, just everybody got on the floor and and jump up and down and get sweaty. It's from a movie called Honeymoon Travels. Fun. So I guess that's, very catchy. Hold on. I'm, I'm, now I need to know where this guy who who you from Header. I know they said the name in Header, but I don't know those. Is names he one either. of the Rosencrantz and Guildenstern guys? I don't think so. Because I know everybody else that were the main parts in that. That was a really catchy song, though. Like, if it was like, like if we've been invited to many Indian weddings now, so thank you so much we for really that. We really have. Obviously, so we're sweet. on the other side of the world. If we're, if, if you have a wedding while we're there, we will we 100% would absolutely go. absolutely love to come and attend that the wedding amazing. if we're that there. That would be so fun. It really would. I've been to one, but it was an a Indian uh, American marrying a, a, a white guy. Uh, and so they kind of did a kind mesh. Kind of blended it. Yeah. Uh, and this was before the channel. So uh, it was funny because uh, we had dinner with them not too long ago. And I was tell telling her all about the channel, and she was like, "You know, all the songs that you've been reacting to, you dance to. You dance to them at the wedding. <laughs> at the wedding." I was like, "I don't remember that at all. That's I remember true. dancing, but I didn't. I don't know what was going on." I've mentioned this before, and man, would I love to get like a rewind reel and just look at my life mm -hmm. and see how many times something from India has been in my life that I didn't even realize it at the time. Because I've, I've pointed that out about how many times things have touched me and have been a part of my world that I've, I've realized, wow, that was, wow, that was, wow, like so. Apparently there was a Tonuk Tonuk that was there. Uh, no. Yeah. And uh, Chaya Chaya, she said, we're, we're both played. Wow. And I was like, I don't remember that at all. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because obviously I'm just dancing and there's some, yeah, there's some just music person in a different playing. language. You bet. And I'm like, this sounds fun. Yeah. So I have no idea what I'm dancing to. Yeah, like uh, here at, at a wedding that you're attending the reception to here in Los Angeles, the DJs are almost always going to incorporate something that's Latin, something from Mexico, something from South America, and everybody in the place that is of Latin American descent, they're gonna flip out and they're gonna start jumping up and down and dancing. And you'll dance with it and probably never even heard the song before. Yeah. So yeah, that experience happens a lot. Yeah, so it was, that's it funny. Was, it was quite funny. I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm searching specific, my computer's going really slow right now. Oh, wait, where was he? Was he with the, with the no, that's the, that's the guy. Uh, the main politician guy. That, uh, the, the, the dad. Brother. Yeah, the uncle. Yeah, the uncle. That's the uncle. Where was he in this? Shapeshifter. Uh, what is this called? Was he the, the guy with the long hair? He was either the guy with the long hair or the main dancing guy with the shirt off at the very beginning who's on the floor. Oh, he's the main guy. That's him with the shirt off? No. That looks nothing like That's him. not him. I'll put it on the screen, but I don't believe you. <laughs> Lies and propaganda. That does not look like the guy from Header. If it is, I want to see more of his work because he can completely change his facial structure. That's weird, man. Yeah. That's and what it. is this from? Honeymoon Travels. Honeymoon Travels. Whose film? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Rimi, Rima. Kurt. Kapti. Kapti. Huh. Well, there you go. Thanks, IMDb. Yeah. Content not available. Yeah, just like Corbin's mom. <laughs> Sorry, Corbin's mom.